What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. Today we are checking out two webcams from a company called Norum. Hopefully I say the name right. I have a V11 model and a V15 model. One is at $40, the other one at $70. Sorry to interrupt the video, but as I was getting ready to upload the video to YouTube, I realized throughout the video I'm referring to these two webcams as $40 and $70. But when I was looking at the updated Amazon prices with the coupons, the V11 is $17 and the V15 with the light is $48, I think. So the difference is still about $30, but it just puts it into a new perspective as you consider that the V11 is under 20 bucks. Keep watching. I'm gonna first give you a full rundown of the specs so you can see what's identical and similar between these two and what's different and if it's worth spending 30 bucks more to get the nicer one, this one, V15. Number two, gonna do an unboxing. Number three, we're gonna do a quick test to see how the quality is. And finally, I'm gonna give you my conclusion. Link to the products gonna be down in the description below. Let's get started. So here they are, V11 and V15 AF L model. They are both 2K webcams, basically 1920 by 1080 or full HD. Number two, they both have same sensor. So the video quality, if lighting is optimal, is gonna be the same, at least I assume that's gonna be the case. They both have two mics and they're gonna use that for not only picking up the audio, but also do use it for some uh, noise canceling and proper audio cleaning and uh, getting rid of echoes or keyboard sounds. However, the V15 model has a version two of that. It's called Proper Clean 2 and the V11 has Proper Clean one so we'll see if we're going to notice the difference they're both are usb plug and play they both have privacy shutter with the v11 it's a physical shutter that you can block the video and this one has a digital option you can push a button and stop the video from transmitting neither of them offer any zoom capabilities and for the most part this is where the similarities end the v11 which is a cheaper one actually offers a 90 degree uh field of view and this one offers the V15 is 75 degrees, so a little bit tighter. Now, what are some of the advantages of the V15 that makes this a more expensive webcam? The biggest one, in my opinion, based on the specs, is gonna be a ring light. So this has a built-in ring light around the lens that would uh, act as kind of like a field light to light up your face, so then you can get better quality transmission of the video. And then this also offers autofocus as well. This one's I'm not clear how exactly works because I assume webcams automatically gonna have your face focused, but nonetheless, on paper, biggest difference is gonna be the ring light, autofocus, and a little bit better audio cleanup using proper clean too. So starting with the V11, I suspect the unboxing is gonna be pretty straightforward. We have some literature, owner's manual and whatnot provided USB cable, which seems to be attached. It is attached to the webcam and that's pretty much it. So you have this leg that basically would help to attach to the top of your laptop or your monitor. At the top, you have your privacy shutter. You are able to mount this on top of a tripod if you need to. And in front, if the camera can pick it up, you see two small holes and that's where the two mics are. This is the V15. Again, looks like the cable is attached. The leg is basically same style. This is your digital privacy shutter at the top. You can push this button. You notice the ring light around the lens and then your two microphones. Cables attached, USB type A. The cable seems to be pretty long. So even if you have to attach this on top of your monitor that is separate from your device, I think you're gonna be fine. I do have these attachments. It's a USB type A to USB type C. It does not come with the unit. Uh, I'll try to put a link to this one down below. It's very handy if you wanna have one around. The way you would mount this, you would just put this at the top like this. And voila. This should be plug and play, does not need any drivers. There you go. So probably this is, I would say below average level of brightness you may have in your house. I got my blind closed right now. And uh, so this is how the video and audio looks like and sounds like. Now to put it to perspective, this is the audio and video using the built-in uh, camera and microphone from my 
MacBook Pro. And I wanted to do one final test, turn all the lights off, and this is just some little bit of a natural lighting from the windows with the blinds closed to try to get an idea to see how does it do in uh, what I would call low light situation for a webcam. And to put it in comparison, this is the same low light situation using the built-in webcam on my MacBook Pro. As you can see, all this uh, dark background, it gets extremely noisy. Looks like the system's trying to brighten up. So I would say the V11 actually is outperforming the built-in webcam on my Mac. So we're gonna check out the V15 and then I'll give you my final conclusion. But I gotta tell you so far, I am impressed with how the V11 did with all the lights turned off and how it compensated for all the dark spots compared to how my MacBook Pro did. So here's the V15 with all the lights turned off and the light on the webcam itself is not turned on. Looks like you have three different modes. So this is on low, this is on medium, and this is on high. So if you have significant movement, the autofocus seems like it's not fast enough to be able to adjust with that, but when it does adjust, it seems like it. the focus is pretty sharp. I mean, I'm looking at all my untrimmed <laughs> beard uh, hair that you can see right here. I do see right here that the window light is hitting. I'm overexposed and it cannot compensate for that. Let me double check to see how it was with the V11. So this is the V11 and I'm actually very impressed with how this does. I don't have the hotspot here on my face that was coming from the window. I don't the background right here, and this is really dark right now. It's not as noisy as um, my MacBook Pro. The focus is really good. I get a little bit of a wider angle. This is, this is a tough call between the two. So what's the conclusion? I went back and forth and I used this a lot more than what you saw in the recording, and here's the final conclusion. If you don't necessarily need the extra light that um, the webcam is producing and giving to you, you, I don't think you need to spend the extra money to get that V15. I was very impressed with the V11, how it got rid of the, uh, the noises in the dark areas in the background, how my face was nicely lit, how I was able to avoid having a um, hotspot of overexposed area on my face from the window, and the list goes on and on, and I was happy with the audio quality. Now, typically, extra lights, that always means better quality for most uh, any kind of cameras that has a small sensor. Uh, however, there were a couple of things with the V15 uh, that I did not like as much. The, uh, the autofocus hunting, that every now and then you would feel that pulsation in the screen that looks like I was trying to make sure I'm in focus. I didn't like that as much, but when it did focus, it was pretty sharp. You could see every single um, uh, beard hair on my face, and that was very, very tack sharp. Uh, the other thing that I like about the V15, better than the V11 was, uh, it was more colorful, and it was a little bit more saturated versus V11, that it was low saturation, and it wasn't as vibrant. What does all that mean? Start with the V11. I think you're gonna be very happy with that. If you're gonna be somewhere that is gonna be super, super dark, then definitely go and upgrade to the V15 for only an extra 30 bucks. Hopefully this answered all your questions. If I missed anything, drop a comment down below. I do my best to try to answer every single question. Link to everything again down below. If you haven't had a chance to like this video, please do so, it means a lot. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.